Cubital tunnel syndrome is caused by pressure on the ulnar nerve at the inside of the elbow. The nerve can become compressed when it passes through a passageway formed by muscle, ligament, and bone called the cubital tunnel. The ulnar nerve carries signals for sensation and movement to the hand and forearm. The cause of most cubital tunnel syndrome is unknown, but anatomical factors and several other factors may contribute to compression, including repetitive movements, direct pressure on the elbow, fractures, bone spurs, swelling, or cysts. Compression causes faulty nerve messages to be sent down the forearm and into the hand. You may feel pain, especially at your elbow, and the inner part of your forearm. You may experience numbness and a tingly sensation in your ring and little finger, feeling similar to when your funny bone is hit. Your symptoms may come and go and increase when your elbow is bent. You may also experience poor finger coordination and your grip and forearm may feel weak. Many cases of cubital tunnel syndrome respond to rest and pain relieving treatments. Surgery is recommended if symptoms do not improve. There are various surgical options for relieving pressure on the ulnar nerve. The most common surgical procedure is called an anterior transposition of the ulnar nerve. Let's take a closer look. To begin, an incision is made at the inside of the elbow. The ulnar nerve is moved from behind the elbow to the front. The ulnar nerve may be placed over or under the muscle. A sling of tissue is created to keep the nerve in its new position. The incision is closed and bandaged. You will most likely wear a splint for a short time following surgery. Therapy is recommended to help gain strength and motion. The length of your recovery depends on the extent of the condition and the surgery that you had. Your doctor will let you know what to expect.